Hello world, welcome back. This is Gerbil and I'm sharing eight tips to speed up your Mac. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. Your support encourages me and I'd love to make more for you. In the comments, tell me what you like or what I can do better. All right, let's get started. Number one. Ever noticed how the later it gets, the more tired you are, the less you remember? Your computer is the same thing. Every once in a while, you really should go to the Apple menu and choose Restart. Yep, restarting your computer clears out memory and resets so many things, making your computer run smoother and faster. Number two. Over time, your Mac will get filled up with apps that you've probably forgotten about or have never even used. This is Launchpad. From here, you can simply hold the mouse down on an icon and drag it to the trash can to delete it or press the X if it's available. Another way, of course, is to go to your Applications menu in the Finder and drag it to the trash from here or right-click and choose Move to Trash. Number three. When you open a new Finder window, by default, the Mac shows you the recent files opened or all my files. In my case, that's 3,800 files. And in order to view them, the Mac is quickly loading up thumbnails and information about all of them. This is not so good. It fills up your memory with lots of unneeded things. Turn this off. To turn off all my files, go to the desktop, click Finder, Preferences. Where it says New Finder Windows Show, change that to something else. I'm going to just go to My Home Library. If you do not ever wish to use this feature, you can go to the Sidebar tab and uncheck it from your favorites. This stops it from showing up on the left side here. Number 4. Over the course of a day, it's very easy to load tab after tab after tab after tab with all different resources, whether it's work, email, school, personal stuff, who knows what. But the problem is, these tabs use a ton of memory. In fact, web browsers are one of the most memory intensive applications on your computer. The more of these have, guaranteed, the slower your computer will be. Do yourself a favor, limit them to just a few. Also, try not to run Chrome, Safari, and Firefox at the same time. Number five. A cluttered desktop like this is an extraordinary memory hog for your Mac. Believe it or not, but the desktop is an application just like Chrome or Stickies. In this case, your Mac tries to preload everything on the desktop so that the moment you click on it, it's ready for you to use. It's like the active things you're working on. When you have a desk in front of you and 500 stacks of paper, it's impossible to get anything done. Number six. One of the quickest ways to slow down your computer is to have too many applications open like once. To see this list of applications, hold down the command key and press tab at the same time. Then let go of tab and move your mouse over the applications you want to quit. From here, leave the command key down and then simply press Q over that application and the Mac will quit that application. An important thing to consider is to understand that just because the window is closed doesn't mean the app is closed. So make sure you quit it, not just closing the window. Number seven. After opening and closing many apps and files, your computer gets bogged down and memory just gets out of order. So here's a nice little trick. Download an app like iClean Memory or something similar. What it can do is show you the amount of memory you're using and optimize it. It's basically like putting everything back in the correct order. 
In this case, iClean Memory just shows me that I have 9 gigabytes of used and 5.5 and gigabytes of available memory. And as I optimized it, you probably see the amount of available memory is increasing. This means that I can do more on my computer without it slowing down. Number 8. Most applications have what they call cache, browsers in particular. In Chrome, go to Preferences, search for the term cache, C-A-C-H-E, and you'll see at the bottom it says Clear Browser Cache. I don't use Chrome very much, but it has 374 megabytes of files that could be deleted. What is cache? Cache are files that it frequently loads, like when you go to Amazon.com. It's a picture of their logo or an advertisement or something that comes up often. Now, you don't need these, they're just sitting in your computer, taking up space. Clear them out. You can do this for each of your browsers and a number of other applications. In fact, there are many applications on the App Store that allow you to empty cache, probably freeing entire gigabytes of storage space on your computer. 